love, the highest love that evolves us, the highest love that when we allow it to enter in has always been present in humanity. You can look back. I happen to be reading uh, the book of grace, the cosmic view of the Bible right now. And it's really interesting because in all of that, you can see this evolutionary urge that people have always been responding to this in the way that they could understand it. And he also brought into this picture of like what we're here to do now. We're here to, to lead. We're here to evolve. We're here to ascend and to invite people with us, right? What I'm knowing in my own experience is that I have to get better and better at meeting people where they are because we are all ascending, right? And we're all at different levels. We've all maybe been in the race a little bit longer. We've all been, you know, born into certain things that maybe made it more challenging to awaken to the love that we are, that is here now, that is present, that has always been here. And what I know in my own experience when I first began this ascension process and the joy of it, right? Feeling the power that wanted to move through me and knowing that it's available to everyone. And what can happen for us in that is that we just want to share it. We want to give all that information and all this knowing. And, and the reality is, is maybe this person just needs to get over their addiction. Or maybe this person, uh, you, know, you probably have heard the story, you know, you probably don't want to preach to someone who's starving. You actually want to give them some bread, right? So like acknowledging where people are is, it can, for me particularly, is a continual discernment, a continual refinement. Because we are here moment by moment, guided by this force. Bring, it brings people and circumstances, catalysts for change to us so that we are, can ascend higher and higher. And regardless of what your title is at work, regardless of your pecking order in your family, regardless of any of that, I assure all of, all of you that we are all here to lead. We're all here to lead with love. We're all, all here to lead with understanding. We're all here to lead with this compassion for the human experience for ourselves and for others. That's where things start to change. It is an exciting time to be alive right now. It's an exciting time to be here at Sunrise Ranch because I feel that we are definitely in an ascension process and we are inviting people, the people who are ready to be with us, to come be with us. Mm -hmm. We had a great session at our attunement training on Friday. So in the attunement philosophy, uh, the spirit of the new earth is taking intelligent action. It's creating. It's, it's being in motion here in the physical. But it means more than just being in action. It means being in action inspired from something on high. Higher truth, higher wisdom, higher love. And when that all is starting to work together, we are creating something new. In our class, we really looked at the Hawkins scale. I don't know if any of you have seen this, but like shame as a vibrational emotion is at the bottom, right? It's like it registers at 20, like on the frequency scale, right? And things really, really start to, you know, change for us when we come to a place of courage. But then when it gets where it gets really juicy is when we get to like around the frequency of love. And that's, that's where... Things start to happen magically in our lives where we unleash magic, synchronicities. We start to draw to us all that will resonate. We start to draw to us what is meant for us to live into. We start to draw to us all that it takes to bring into manifestation the possibilities for our lives, for our ministry, for the world. And so love is always there is no just cute little thing, right? It's no cute little saying. It's a reality. And it's the reality when we touch into it, when we allow ourselves to live that way, moment by moment, peeling off the layers of shame, guilt, regret, fear, 
judgment, and allowing more and more of this reality to express through us, as us, something magical happens. And I'm here for that. Y'all here for that? Yeah.